Sean, it's day four of Opal Kids, 12 days of Christmas. And now we're going to move on to some of the more sensory components. Today, let's talk about smells. Yes, some of the hallmarks of a Trini Christmas are the unique scents that we experience at this time of year and not other times of the year, like the smell of ham, floor polish, paint, cake, Christmas scented candles, and the list goes on. Scent is strongly tied to memory, and some people go all out to make sure that the place smells as Christmassy as it looks. But for someone with a sensory aversion or sensitivity to smell, this time of year can be an absolute nightmare. Instead of invoking feelings of warmth and comfort and joy, like this song, it can make a person feel nauseated or overwhelmed at every turn. So if your child has any sensory aversion or sensitivity to smell, just keep in mind that this time of year can be extra challenging and a little bit more difficult for them to feel calm and relaxed. So if you haven't painted as yet, go for low odor paints or let the room get as much ventilation as possible. If you can, spread out the timing of cooking different things so that there aren't competing scents. And of course, ensure that your kitchen has as much ventilation as possible. And I might get some heat for saying this because for some people it's blasphemous, but if you can, if it's possible, you can consider having certain foods catered or store-bought like the ham and the cake, just if it's going to make it a little bit easier to not have those scents lingering in the house. Or if you are still going to have those things, then make sure that you have a sort of space that is mostly free of those different scents. For example, your child's bedroom, if you can paint that at another time of the year and have that as a sort of neutral, familiar space for them to retreat if there are competing scents when they step outside, that would really be helpful. The main thing to keep in mind is how you can best support your child with their sensory differences. So start with that and then you can build on it. See you in day five where we'll continue with another one of our senses. Bye.